Hey YouTube, Jim here. Welcome to Top 10 Archive. There's something special about movie directors that work with few resources and make it work. It really teaches us all about how much we overthink things, making way too big a deal out of creating when we have the tools perhaps literally in our hands. Like being a new YouTuber, we think we need all the bells and whistles before we start a channel. These 10 movies, though, were created by people looking to prove to others that it's not about the equipment. It's about how you use what you have. All you really need is your phone and some ambition. Here is a list of the top 10 Hollywood productions made with an iPhone. But before we get started, why not become an archivist today by clicking that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. If you end up enjoying this video, let us know by giving it a thumbs up and in the comments section, tell us what you would write a movie about. Number 10. Unsane It's not just broke directors trying their hand at iPhone movies. Steven Soderbergh gave it a try as a creative interest and filmed Unsane, featuring Claire Foy as the star. He used an iPhone 7 Plus and filmed it in just 10 days. Talk about pushing through. The New Yorker was astounded. The use of the iPhone created a new proximity to the subjects, both literal and metaphorical. Critics saw it as a positive spark of novelty on his work and on Hollywood movies in general. Number 9. Snow Steam Iron This movie by Zack Snyder was shot after the mess that was Batman vs. Superman. He used an iPhone 7 Plus and a Filmic Pro. This movie was all about revenge and not a full-length feature. The four-minute film is impactful and, though at first takes a moment to see what the director is doing, the aha moment is glorious. The fact that this could even be done with an iPhone makes me feel I'm using my phone incorrectly. Number 8. Tangerine With a different perspective on transgender sex work, this iPhone shot movie moved people at the 2015 Sundance Film Festival. Only the iPhone 5S was used, and the creativity and genius behind it earned it a place in the Academy Museum and in filmmaking history. The director, Sean Baker, also used a Filmic Pro. He wasn't sure what type of reaction he'd get, both because of his methods and the subject matter of the film, but it was awe-inspiring to critics and colleagues alike inspiring many and earning him awards. Number 7. Searching for Sugar Man This Oscar winner by Malik Benjalul would never have been made if he hadn't used an iPhone and an app costing $1.99 when he ran out of money. The movie is a documentary following Rodriguez, a musician who was ignored by people in his own town but practically a star in South Africa. He liked to stay low-key had no phone, kept silent, so his fans thought he'd killed himself. In the making of the film, Rodriguez was not only found, but also led back to stardom. Number 6. And Uneasy Lies the Mind This iPhone movie by Ricky Fosheim is about the state of mind of the main character, Peter. Those who watch it, however, also end up uneasy themselves, as it is quite gory and pushes limits. It was shot at a ski chalet using an iPhone 5 with the Filmic Pro app. Ricky said he wanted to shoot in 16mm but didn't have the money for it, so he did what he could with the iPhone and the app and voila! Number 5. I play with the phrase each other Taking creativity to the next level, this movie is not only shot on an iPhone but consists entirely of phone conversations. It was so hell-bent on pushing that point that its website was thecellphonemovie.com. It's a black-and-white movie with a constant feeling that something isn't quite right. Clearly, the creative angle worked and brought something new to the film. It won the Special Jury Prize at Slamdance in 2014. Number 4. Night Fishing now that we all know Park Chan-wook after he co-wrote and directed Old Boy, which if you haven't seen is described as incredible, we can appreciate how long he's been at the creative game. Not only can he create a thriller with a plot so intricate you can't even blink, but he can also make a movie like Night Fishing on an iPhone 4. It's a fantasy horror film and won Best Short Film at the Berlin International Film Festival. 
Next time your dad asks you to help him with his phone, remind him that Park Chan-wook filmed a whole movie on his, and he's almost 60, so he certainly is capable of figuring out his own iPhone. Number 3. Romance in New York Tristan Pope created this movie in 2015 using an iPhone 6 using the point of view of a boyfriend on a date with his girlfriend. The romance was no easy feat to make, but Pope certainly made it work to the critics' satisfaction. To add, it was funded on Kickstarter, showing it had support long before the story was made real. It won the top prize at the iPhone Film Festival in 2015, and you can find it on iTunes. It's well worth it. Number 2. Nine Rides Matthew A. Cherry created Nine Rides, which has all the modern signs of our current society. The premise is based around an Uber driver that clocks in to work on the busiest night of the year, New Year's Eve. The night takes him all across the city as he transports nine different sets of passengers who help him come to terms with life-changing news. Matthew A. Cherry used an iPhone 6 and also funded it on Kickstarter. It all worked out for Cherry when the film played at the South by Southwest and the Chicago International Film Festivals. Number 1. High Flying Bird Soderbergh was back at the iPhone game in 2019 with High Flying Bird. In this film, he focused on the business behind pro basketball. The film tells the story of a sports agent pitching a dicey business opportunity to a rookie player during a lockout. With a big city feel and amazing attention to detail, the film captures a basketball game through a video shot by teenagers, a good workaround to using an iPhone as your only real tool. Thanks for watching. Did you catch that my intro was shot on an iPhone? Eh, it may not win any awards, but you share your award-worthy comments about any of these films or others shot using an iPhone. Be sure to subscribe, click the bell, and give this video a like. Now get out there with your phone and start making some movies!